Psychology students, the AP score distribution is out. The AP test this year, 15% of students got a five, 32% got a four, 25% got a three, 19% got a two and 9% got a one. Which is honestly awesome because that means 72% of students passed the AP test this year. To realize might not sound like the highest percentage, but if we look at last year's test, we can see that only 61.7% of students passed. And the year before that, only 59.6% of students passed. In fact, last year we can see that over 26.5% of students got a one on the test, with the year before being 28%. You can see actually all the different distributions right now for all the way up until 2014 for the AP Psychology test. Now, I should note that, remember, the test was very different this year. So it's hard to compare data exactly to past AP Psych tests since the CED was updated and we got new FRQs along with multiple choice style questions. Uh, but it is interesting to see that at least the pass rate has gone up, which is a good thing for all of you. Now, I took these screenshots from College Board's Trevor Packer, who is the one who was tweeting out the different stats. And these are some other stats that I thought you guys would find interesting. These are with the FRQs. We can actually see that for FRQ number one, 23% of students earned a seven out of seven, with 75% of you actually correctly identifying the research method, which is awesome. And we also have 69% of students who are able to understand the research variable. So we're going through the different parts now of the AAQ. So that's what we're kind of focusing on with that first FRQ. Continuing on, we can see that 65% of students accurately interpreted the statistics that were in the AAQ that you needed to interpret, and 86% of students correctly identified one or more ethical guidelines that were part of the study. And then 78% of students explained generalizability of the findings, which is again, awesome. Those are really good numbers there. Uh, but we can see that only 48% of students actually earned two points for the argumentation. So again, this is where we're explaining how the results either supported or refuted um, that misinformation effect. Again, this is for set one of the FRQ. And then 26% of students earned one point. So remember, there was two points there. So only 26% of students earned one point, but 48% of students earned two points there. So kind of interesting there with the AAQ. How the EBQ was definitely a little bit harder. Only 7% of students actually earned 7 out of 7 points. So definitely a little bit more tricky here. But 94% of students actually proposed a specific and defensible claim based in psychological science, which is fantastic. That's that part A there. And then 86% of students were able to support the claim with evidence from one of the studies. So remember, you had to connect some piece of evidence and you had to connect it back to your claim to support it. Where it really started to get tricky is at the bottom there where we're having to explain. So only 22% of students were able to explain very effectively the relationship between the evidence and their argument. So that argument that they stated earlier. And then those students who did, so that 22%, they were earning two out of two for the reasoning there. But 34% of students were able to explain this essentially kind of effectively, but not enough to get both points. So they only earned one of the two points. So that's something to think about for students who are taking it next year. We definitely need to spend time with these EBQs and understanding how to support our arguments. Um, but if we go on to finish the kind of tweet here, we can see 84% of students were able to support their claim with evidence from a secondary study, or sorry, a second study, which is great. Uh, but only 14% of students were able to explain very effectively the relationship between the evidence and their argument. So only 14% of students earning that two out of two. Um, and then again, 36% of students earning one of the two points there. So take it or leave it. That's the kind of breakdown of the FRQs and also those score distributions. Overall, just be proud you took this test and you rocked it. Remember the scores are going to be coming out soon for what you individually got. Um, make sure to kind of enjoy that, but also remember it's just a test. It's summer now. Enjoy your summer vacation. Um, go have some fun. Enjoy the 4th of July. And I hope that it all goes well for you. Hopefully you guys all rocked it. I'm sure you did. Uh, but remember to check your emails in about a week or so. Uh, so that way you can get updated about what you got on the test. And then let us know how you did. So have a great summer, everyone. I'll talk to you later. Mr. Sin is out.